notamment le référendum pour la nouvelle constitution, mais surtout le dialogue intermalien aujourd'hui qui a été déroulé. Hello everyone, my dear kings and queens, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in the continent and those who are in the diaspora. Uh, the day before yesterday, the president of Mali, Cornel Asimikoita, visited his counterpart, uh, president of Burkina Faso, Catherine Ibrahim Traore. Uh, on the press conference, uh, president Goita declared that with the creation of the Alliance of Sahel State, the heads of uh, state decided to take their destiny in their hand. So uh, there's something that I learned from uh, these uh, three military leaders. Of course, among all the three, uh, one is Helda, um, Mr. Chian, and the two uh, are young, President Traore and President Gohita. These two are young people. You can see that young people has more vision. So by collaborating and working with the elders who are more experienced, they have succeeded to form the Alliance of Sahel States. Um, I, I, I'm sharing this uh, to make one point of unity. Africa, we are confronted with insecurity, uh, conflict, but we cannot solve the challenge of conflict if we cannot come together. These young people and the president of Niger has taught, have taught us the importance of unity. So you cannot fight the terrorists in a separate country. We cannot achieve anything without coming together. You remember when Niger uh, military leader took power ECOWAS came out and say we are going to invite Niger. But these young people came out and say, if you invite Niger, we are going to intervene also. So they have one say, our motherland or death. So if ECOWAS is going to invite Niger, we are going to intervene. At that time, ECOWAS did not try to go to Niger. So this is a big lesson that when we come together and say no, whether it is America, whether it is Russia, whether it is China, they cannot do anything. If they are led, let us remove all of us on the face of the ground. So the unity is very, very important. Today we are lamenting about conflict in Congo. We cannot end the conflict in Congo. If we are not coming together, we are not united. These young leaders and the leaders of Sahel is a big lesson for us, the rest of the continent, that if we want to go far, we must come together. You have seen Niger, because Niger know very well that we are in the alliance of Sahel State. We have our brothers in Burkina Faso and Mali told France to go out for more than 50 or 60 years, France is exploiting Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso. But when these leaders came together, they said no to France, and France went out. They said, I will not sell my uranium at low price, and they succeeded. They said, we are going to build our industries. We see industries being built in these countries, in Mali, in Burkina Faso, in Niger. Niger succeeded to build the pipeline from Niger across to Benin to access the port, despite Benin is not doing well to secure the pipe. But you see the importance of unity. My point here is the importance of unity. You see Russia working with China, Russia working with South Korea, and I mean North Korea. What Russia seek is unity. You see NATO, unity. Where is African unity? What are we thinking about our unity? Do you think we can solve our challenges without coming together? Can we solve the challenges in, in Mozambique 
as individual countries it is impossible can we silence the gun in africa without coming together so these young leaders the leaders of sahel is a big lesson for us and if there are other leaders who are very committed i think they should join the alliance of sahel state because i see the fruits of coming together we have east africa community where east africa want to have federation but you see there are some people who want to destabilize east africa because congo is the richest one so if east africa will come together it will be difficult for those who are exploiting congo to get resources so our leaders in the east africa should focus on how they can come together now you see they are trying to divide the states of east africa they create distances between congo and drc but all these countries are members of east africa so i call our leaders in east africa to call these leaders congo and and the rwanda and tell them the truth that we are not enemies we are not enemy of each other we are brothers and sisters we are africans this border that you see that we call congo rwanda tanzania or uganda these borders are drawn by other people far away from here and at that time we are not where we are not there so we have to tell them the truth this is created to make sure that congo will continue to supply raw materials without some of them without paying taxes and sometimes for free through destabilization of congo and let us go and learn from mali niger and burkina faso tell the people of sudan that this division of generals it is because sudan has discovered oil and that's why i'm saying without coming together if we can come together we can force sudan to stop war the whole continent cannot fail to to stop war in drc to stop war in congo but because we are not working together the unity is very important that's why i'm saying uh, i learned something from the leaders in the alliance of sahel states that unit is the foundation of everything without unit without working together without uh, understanding each other we can not do anything so we need to implement unit we need to focus on unit and also uh, i think our elders if you see you have you can't achieve the unit you can give chance to young people young people need unit you know it is the elders who are not are working together but if you see and you look on the young people in the continent of africa young people has no problem young people are working together uh sharing ideas you see in social medias uh in different um platforms young people in africa they love one another but when they grow up they start hating one another i don't know what's happening uh at the age of maybe above 40 or above 50 but all in all my dear kings and queens let us come together let us learn from these uh, sahel leaders now you see they are fighting together terrorism they are working together to form the federation they are working together to do everything that is important for the the federation where they go they preach the alliance of sahel states you see that is what we want so we can't solve challenges as individuals we can't do things as individuals we need to do things as a united africa look what's happening to libya 
if we are united, these things will not happen. But we continue to be manipulated. If we cannot unite as a whole continent, let us start slow by slow, like you see in the Sahel. Let us maybe in East Africa, those who are led to form a federation, let us them form a federation. In Equus, of course, Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso have, have withdrawn themselves because they didn't see what they want. Also, Equus should form their own federation and unite and come with one, 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 one leader. One army as they prepared to invite Niger. So you are preparing one, you have one, one army while you want to invite someone. After that, to fight terrorism, you don't have one army. What does that mean? So we need to wake up. We need to think beyond it, to think different, to make changes. So those are just my opinion, and those are just my maybe full opinion from what I see and I learn from uh, this visiting of Cap of Colonel Asimi Goita to uh, his counterpart, Captain Ibrahim Traore and from the Sahel, uh, Alliance of Sahel states, but I'm trying to imagine myself and uh, trying to ask myself, what this, what if, what that. So with those few, king, few words, kings and queens, let me say thank you uh, for listening, for your comment, for your support. All in all, uh, our aim is to energize one another so that all of us can be aware with what is going on in your mother country to Africa and what can we do to build the better future in the Africa that all of us we want to see. With those few words, let me say thank you. See you next time. Have a nice time.